What's up, everybody? Welcome to episode 11. Yes, you heard that correctly. 11 of the Winning with Nick podcast. In today's episode, we'll be discussing the beauty of failure. Yes, you heard that from Winning with Nick himself. The beauty of failure. Let's start the show. Alright guys, so what is a person or who is a person commonly associated with winning, especially in basketball? I'll give you some hints. 6-0 in the finals. Played for a team in Chicago. He's bald-headed. If you haven't figured it out by now, talk about Michael Jordan. A lot of people consider him the GOAT of basketball, so I believe there's something we can learn from him as winners. Now, am I saying he's my GOAT? No. but He fits the mold of what we're discussing here today. Here's a quote from him. I've missed more than 9,000 shots in my career. I've lost almost 300 games. 26 times I've been trusted to take the game winning shot and missed. I failed over and over again in my life and that is why I succeed. Okay, so for somebody who seems to be the goat of basketball, that's missed 9,000 shots lost almost 300 games taking a game-winning shot more than 26 times and missed several of those times failed over and over again and that is why he succeeds now that's crazy a guy who's six and on the finals has missed over 9,000 shots you would think hold on this guy's the goat he shouldn't miss any shots or he should never fail wrong i guarantee you Every winner in life, in any aspect, whether it be Thomas Edison with the light bulb, Michael Jordan, Kobe of basketball, uh, Shannon Sharp, um, what's the, uh, hang on, I can't remember the uh, defensive player. So I'll just go with uh, Ray Lewis of football, you know, Elon Musk with Tesla. These guys are all winners. And what separates them from losers and average people, rather than sulking, and being consumed by their failures, they learn from them because all those failures make that win worth that much more. Now, how can failure be a beautiful thing? Well, like I just said, if you're a winner, rather than sulking and consuming yourself with the idea of you failing, you learn from your own failures. Now, you've heard me say before, a fool learns from his own mistakes while a wise man learns from others. Now that is a mistake. That's not quite the same thing as a failure. A failure is when you strive to do something in life and you do not meet the goals that you set for yourself or excuse me, you set out to achieve something and you ultimately come up short. But if you analyze your failures and see where things went wrong, it will prepare you for the future and for the next time the opportunity arises and you have that extra knowledge. That is why failure is a beautiful thing. Now, for winners, we're talking about Elon Musk, Michael Jordan, Shannon Sharp, um, Ray Lewis. But how about you, the everyday person that's striving to become a winner? What is something I can say to encourage you? Okay. If you are working that nine to five that you've heard me talk about and you get fired or something terrible happens at your job that affects you emotionally, it pisses you off, it frustrates you. Or if you are responsible for a specific project and ultimately your team comes up short, there's a great chance you'll be fired, but there's also a chance you can keep your job. All of that to say that is considered a failure. Now, what are you going to do? Are you going to sit back and complain about how unfair the world is, how your boss is biased, how life is just isn't fair, how you just have bad luck? No, those are all things a loser, someone who wants to be a victim does. And what have you heard me say? The winning mindset, the winning mentality sets you up to distance yourself, to eradicate the victim mindset within you. You don't strive to be a victim. You strive to be a winner. Winners are not victims. 
They overcome adversity. They destroy adversity. They learn from their failures. So rather than complaining about the bad strand of luck that has hit you, what you can do is you can learn from everything that's gone wrong. You can learn what you did wrong on that project at your job to work around that going forward in the future. You can learn what did I do that ultimately got me fired from my job? What did I do or what did I not do that kept me from achieving my goals? Failure are lessons, but only those with the winning mentality and the winning mindset can see that and learn from their, their failures. So guys, this has been a pretty short one today, but I just want to leave you with this. In life, failure is inevitable. Have you seen Avengers Endgame? Thanos, I am inevitable. That is failure. Failure is always whispering in your ear. Winner, listener, I am failure and I am inevitable. Now, failure is inevitable. But when it comes along, you have your winning mindset and your winning mentality to deal with it. Rather than letting failure consume and destroy you, you see where you went wrong, what you did wrong, and you learn how to move accordingly so you can avoid failing in the same way again. So you can avoid history repeating itself. All right, winners, remember, be the hero in your own life story. No one is coming to save you. You must put on your own cape, pick up your own boots, pull the straps, and put in that work to get your life on the right path so you can win in life and be successful. All right, guys, that is the end of episode 11 of the Winning with Nick podcast. Mm -hmm.